catch a mouse in the shed for me? It's a whole bunch. We're at 4.4 hours on our new Toro time cutter, and at five hours, the manual recommends that we do the oil change. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. We're currently between mowing, so it's a perfect time. There's really good instructions in the manual how to do it, so I'm not gonna walk you through step by step. I'll just talk to you a little bit about our experience with the mower as I'm changing the oil. I showed you the oil drain system in the walk around video. But it's really simple, you just pull down on this hose. It does get like a vacuum lock to it sometimes, so it's a little hard to pull down. But once you get it loosened, it comes right off. Then it's a zigzag system through here. I'm gonna go under there, and it just starts draining automatically. You want a pan big enough for about three liters, it takes 2.6 liters. I'll put a picture of the manual page that shows the viscosity and the amount of fluid. So today I mowed the backyard with this. It is definitely the fastest that I've ever mowed the backyard. And I think that what I'm finding out is that the learning curve on the zero turn is very easy. It's intimidating at first, but once you spend four hours on it, you really get the hang of making those turns and it's totally changed my mowing system. Instead of mowing things in a square, it's much easier for me now to go back and forth close rows to each other since I can make those sharp turns. And I think that's the primary difference I'm noticing between this and an, another type of mower is that instead of mowing in a big square, just because you can't make those tight turns, I can make the tight turns in this and it makes it so much faster. Now I did mow with this a short time ago, so the oil is pretty warm. I'd recommend letting it cool down a little bit. The hose is actually warm to the touch, pretty hot to the touch. I let it sit for a half an hour, but it probably could have sat longer. You can see it's pretty much done dripping, so I'm just gonna put the hose back on to the nipple. zigzag it back through its placement here. It's back in place. Next we'll take the filter out. I'm going to let it cool down a minute longer. For the oil change, our area of the country and our temperatures said that there's, we could use any of three different grades of oil viscosities. I had this Wolf's Head Super Duty 5W30 just in the garage. I get this at Sam's Club. I'm really happy with this oil. It's a semi-synthetic and it's going to be perfect for in the Toro. I didn't go out and buy the Toro brand oil when I've got oil that meets the necessary requirements here at the house. I did order the Toro filter. Uh, I ordered this off of Amazon. I'll put a link down below. This came in less than two days. I, Amazon, I am an Amazon Prime member, but this came, I think I ordered it in the morning and it came the next day. I used the funnel for filling. I've got three quarts here. It's going to take a little bit less than three quarts to do the crankcase and the filter. To get an idea for gas consumption, I was running this time cutter in the turtle speed for the first two hours or so and then in the medium speed and then last night I moved with it in the high speed and in that time in the 4.4 hours I've run three tanks of gasoline through this so I'm not sure if that's a lot or a little I'm used to the diesel tractor mowing uh, just to give you an idea in 4.4 hours I've gone through three tanks of gas but part of that was in turtle speed.
What are you doing? Just putting a little oil on the gasket as you would with any oil change. Like I said in the instructions, it has really good detailed instructions, but once it's touching, it's just three quarters of a turn to tighten. You don't want to over tighten it. Now go ahead and fill. Good, it'll need to pump some into the filter. So we'll go ahead and start it up for a minute to pump into the filter. And please comment below if you think three tanks of gas seems excessive or if that seems normal. We're not used to a gas powered motor, so comment below. I didn't get a single drip of spill when I was draining the oil from the hose. I did get some drips when I took the filter off and they're down there. I'll wipe them off of the motor mount. Perfect. So it took two and a half quarts. We put 5W30 in. Just clean up around where the oil spilled. Try to keep the machine as nice as we can. And that was it, quick and easy oil change. We'll just take a glance at the air filter, perfect. So that oil change was super easy, very quick mess free just another good example of purple collar life i've got my white collar day job and i like to do some blue collar work in the evenings so please go ahead and click that subscribe button if you like this type of content i mean we try to put content out every monday through friday at 8 30 in the morning eastern